one shell of Hornady Critical Defense Double Op Buck at seven yards from a Benelli M4. Welcome back to the channel, Dem members, and welcome back to Llama Ranch. It has been way too long since Aaron and I got out here. Got rid of the cold, but we kept the wind. Still progress. A while back, we did a series of videos on Timu bought body armor. We were all very surprised with just how effective it was and how, you know, true to the ratings it was given, be it 3A or level 4. There was one more product that we had gotten a hold of, that being the advertised 3A ballistic helmet for $60. We're going to see if this is actually 3A or if it's a close approximation or like the Wish product we tested, absolute trash. Aaron, you're very quiet. Normally I'd make a head related pun about this being our first episode of Only Heads, but um, you keep getting mad at me for making puns on the channel. I need better friends. I'm allowed to talk now? Yes. Okay. So for today's video, we're going to test this helmet out with some 22 long rifle, 9mm, and 44 Magnum, and we'll see if the buck stops there. We know for a while a lot of Timu body armor was unavailable or you couldn't find it easily. Well, we have some good news. You can find it again on Timu if you're interested in trying some of it out. You just might have to know what you're searching for in order to find it on Timu. Yeah. As always, we are not endorsing this product. However, if you'd like to test it out for yourself, you're absolutely welcome to look into it and grab some for yourself. We're not going to have any links down in the description because like eBay and many other sites, Timu is constantly changing. So a listing that we purchased from last week or just yesterday isn't even going to be necessarily the same the next day. Want to get on with shooting this thing? Let's do it. All right, Aaron, we're actually aiming for the helmet. Please do not ruin the dummy head. This is going to be something we want to reuse, okay? I see your mouth moving, but... One round of 40 grain, 22 long rifle. Hard to tell what happened there. You know what? Maybe it didn't. Hold on. I think it did. We're not sure what just happened. We think it failed, but there's nothing in the ballistic head. So we're gonna take another shot. You'll see we've adjusted the angle at which the helmet is on the ballistic head. This might be a shorter video than we anticipated. Can see light. Oh dear. And it did some damage. I mean, it, it grazed the side of his head there. There's the hole from the inside, folks. With 22 long rifle. Yikes. That'll, that'll get you killed. I honestly had real high hopes for this, given our success with, I say success, with Timu bought stuff. Because this was back when body armor was thriving on Timu. And we had a lot of success, you know? All right. Um, nine millimeter will... We'll go this side. One round of 115 grain, nine millimeter Luger FMJ. Do you have any predictions? Failure. I'm gonna have to say I agree. Woo! That's gonna go through the eye. Oh! That's gonna be Oh, really he's a bad. pirate. Look at it. Oh, it went all the way through. It broke, so it broke apart in the head. There's three little pieces of it in the center of the head, and there's one big chunk, I can almost touch it, oh, right at the back. It looks gosh. like it almost came all the way out, or a little piece did come out, but the majority of all the broken up pieces of the round stayed inside the head. That's an emergency lobotomy right there. I'm thoroughly disappointed, honestly, and, and I know it already failed with 22, but I mean, that's and and it's and just so we're clear, we still hit the ballistic material. Oh, yeah. What the ballistic material. Ah I we knew this was gonna fail. And we know now the 44 Magnum is gonna fail, but now it's becoming a science experiment of what's it going to look like? Science! Because we're gonna get a full video out of this regardless. <laughs> so next up is a 240 grain soft point round out of my Taurus tracker. Oof. 
I really do love the report of a 44 Magnum revolver, man. Ha! Is no bueno. Oh, he lost his nose. I'm picking his nose. Oh. <laughs> I got your nose. I got your nose. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. That wound channel. Overall, an absolute disappointment. Definitely not 3A. We knew that from the first shot we took. This will get you killed. Temu, Timu, Timu, shame on you for false advertising, but shouldn't be surprised. And this is why you should always be very wary of things you buy online, especially from a place like Timu. All right, let's, let's get out the shotgun. You know, this could potentially stop double up buck. It's not, it's not. One shell of Hornady critical defense double op buck at seven yards from a Benelli M4. Yep, that. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not impossible for him to have survived the 22 long rifle hit, especially if it hit in the right or wrong spot, as it might be, depending on your perspective. Everything else, this guy was done. Do you have anything to add, Aaron? Ow. So I'm assuming you're gonna be buying a few of these for yourself, right? Wouldn't even consider it. Yeah. I'd agree. This is absolute garbage. This wasn't even going to be a trash or bargain video. It is now. It is now. I think he's still usable. This head will come back in some facility, but it's probably not going to be testing too many uh, ballistics penetration tests. Conclusions? I don't know. I, I think this might be some sort of fiberglass, but definitely just a failure of a product which is weird because it's it, it's super hefty it, it is i really thought that it would stop something i i wasn't convinced that it would stop 44 magnum but i thought it would stop nine millimeter yeah but maybe this is best at best something good for stopping shrapnel It's honestly, oh, that's pretty. So maybe it is pretty decent for blood force. Okay, that, that's enough. You're done. You're done. Don't buy this and think that it's going to actually save your life. It works great for LARPing. That's about it. Yeah, well, no pun intended, but I think it's a bust. Please send help for Aaron. That's gonna do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the Phantom Llamas Den. We have a ton of amazing content we're about to film. Go check us out on X and follow us on Twitch where we get really rowdy on the weekends. And as always, don't take life too seriously. And make it a great day. Bye-bye.